share with you my super simple, easy, authentic German potato salad. You may have had it in Germany, or you've had it here in the States, or you've heard about it, or you have maybe made your own version of it. But today I'm going to share you my version that's authentic German, and it couldn't be simpler. If you're new on my channel, my name is Anya, and whenever I'm sharing an authentic German recipe, I'm wearing this traditional blouse. It's called Trachtenbluse in German. It is more Southern German than Northern German, but that's just a minor detail. And as always, if you're new here, please remember to hit that subscribe button and like this video, helping a small channel out. And let's get into it. Let me start by talking about the right kind of potato. So with any recipe, especially when there isn't a whole lot of different ingredients, the individual ingredients will always stand out and it's really important that you get the highest quality ingredients you can afford. That's always my mantra. I prefer buying organic potatoes just because they're heavily sprayed. They're considered the dirty dozen. There's about a dozen uh, vegetables that you want to buy organic as much as you can. And this type of potato is either called Yukon Gold or Golden Potato. It's a more waxy kind of potato. Russet potatoes, of course you can do anything you want, but because they're somewhat mealy and they kind of fall apart, that's exactly what they're doing in the potato salad, they're going to fall apart. And what you want is a potato that cooks beautifully and that you can slice and that is going to hold up and stay sliced instead of becoming basically mashed potatoes. So these are the Yukon Golds or Golden Potatoes or whatever you want to call them. Red potatoes would work fine as well, but they're going to give your potato salad potentially a different hue, not that kind of, you know, that picture book perfect kind of look of a authentic German potato salad. Talking about boiling the potatoes. Yes, you can just put them on the stove, put the water to boil and boil them until they're soft. However, I prefer to start them boiling and then turn the heat so low that it is just barely boiling. That, it, you know, you can see little bubbles rising up, but it's not a vigorous boil. In German, we call it silent boiling, leise köchen. <laughs> I don't know how to describe that any differently, but it does a few things. It actually helps the potatoes not crack open because then it gets a little mushier. So if you want to pre prevent that, you want to boil them on the lowest setting that you can. For that reason, I like to use a simmer plate for my stove and you can also crack the lid, not have it on full tight, but actually crack it a little bit. So some air and steam and, um, so forth can come out and then it's going to be easier to keep it on a on a very gentle soft silent boil rather than a roaring vigorous boil and then you can check with a knife inserted and see the potatoes are done you want to have them just on the side of undercooked rather than on the side of overcooked because then again they're going to hold up better in your German potato salad and here are my potatoes freshly boiled. Um, you will see that I have the, the cuts in here. That's because I inserted the knife and tested them for doneness. So we'll put these over here. And I almost feel a little um, like I don't wanna share my secrets, but that's actually why I'm here to share with you my, it's not a secret, but super simple potato salad. All you really need is mayonnaise and this is a homemade avocado mayonnaise i will be making a video and whenever i have that uploaded i'll put a link in the description box below and if i can manage i can put a card up here and some cornichons or pickles i prefer the smaller ones over the really big dill pickles you can make your own pickles and that's all you really need and I'm going to show you how I make this recipe. And 
As you can see, I have about two, four, six, eight of these little cornichons. Most of my recipes are flexible. If you love these little, sometimes they're called gherkins, um, you can use a little bit more. If you don't like them so much, you can use them a little bit less. And also what you can do is I am gonna cut them in little pieces. You can cut them in really, really small pieces, then they won't stand out so much. Or you can have them in bigger pieces depending on how much effort you're willing to go through and your taste preferences. And then I simply put them in here without spilling them all over the place. That would be good. So I'm just gonna do this for the rest of these little gherkins, pickles. Okay, so all the little cut up gherkins, cornichons, pickles are in here. And then we simply add For these potatoes, I would say about three to four tablespoons of mayonnaise, especially if it's homemade, the more the better, right? <laughs> Again, feel free to adjust the recipe to your liking. I'm going to finish this one, gives me a chance to make more. And here's my trick, add a little bit of the pickle water because that has salt in it and spices and it's going to lighten up your dressing for the potato salad. Now this could be it right here for your dressing for the potato salad. If you want to extend it a little bit or make it a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher tasting, you could add some sour cream to it or some yogurt. I'm going to just keep it very simple here today for this video and the next thing we'll do is peel and cut the potatoes and for this I have this little fork that I don't even know what it's called but it's specifically for peeling potatoes because it's helping for the potato not to fall apart and if you're wondering where to get this I'm gonna leave a link for this thingy and my favorite carbon knife in the box below this video so you can find them and you can see I can just poke this into the potato and then peel a hot potato this is not quite hot anymore but still pretty hot peel the potato and what you can do if the potato is still pretty hot you set it down before you actually cut it up I'm gonna set these potatoes down, make my little pile of potato peels here and continue peeling the rest of the potatoes. If the skin on your potatoes hasn't cracked at all, sometimes it helps making a little slip with your knife and then it's very easy to peel the potato and not get much potato with it. So you're only getting the peel and not potato. Some people like to leave their peels on I think there's good reasons for and against doing that. It will save you time. And if you prefer that, that's really a good idea too. Makes it a little bit more rustic with the peel on. However, the way I grew up, the way I learned it, is we always peel the potatoes. And on that note, I personally, so I grew up in Germany. I have never seen a warm potato salad. I know that that is a thing. And the only time I would have seen that or had it in Germany is if somebody was boiling potatoes, making the potato salad and didn't have time to let the potatoes cool down. Other than that, warm potato salad wasn't ever a thing when I grew up in Germany. So I always like my potato salad cold. But again, that is something that's personal preference and just do what you like. Also, I suggest that you peel the potatoes while they're hot. It's going to be a little easier because once they cool completely down, the peel will cling to the potatoes just a little bit more. So it's easier to do this while the potatoes are freshly boiled. 
So the next step really is to slice the potatoes. You want the slices to be somewhat even, not so thin that they're easily going to fall apart, but thin enough that the flavor and seasoning of the dressing can get into the potato slices, otherwise they're going to taste really bland. So I go for about a quarter inch or so. Now if your potatoes are a little bit on the overcooked side, what you can do is you can peel them and then let them cool down because then they'll hold together a little bit more than if you cut them while they're hot, like I'm doing. Now you simply stir it up. Sometimes these potato slices will cling to each other. You can gently break them up. And if you notice, I'm using a wooden spoon because I find it doesn't cut through the potatoes quite as much as, let's say, a metal stainless steel spoon. And then you can give your potato salad a little bit of a salt and pepper seasoning. And it will be good right away. Again, if you like a warm potato salad, then this would be your moment to eat it. However, I like to let it sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours, let it cool down. Also, it helps the flavors to really soak into the potatoes because potatoes are basically pretty bland. They don't have much of a taste. So that you can accomplish by letting it sit for a while. And then you can check your seasoning. Potatoes are amazing at drawing whatever um, seasoning and saltiness comes from the from the pickle water and your salt and then you can just adjust your seasoning to the way you like it. Can't help myself, I'm gonna try this. Mm. Reminds me of Germany <laughs> and sausages. So you might wonder the best way to eat this this would be really good with these frankfurter sausages that you can buy in the stores. It would also be really good alongside a German schnitzel. I have a video here that I'm linking and also in the box below this video. Really yummy with that. You can have it for your summer barbecue or just any time that you crave a flavorful potato salad as a side to anything. And you can never go wrong. This is such a crowd pleaser and everybody likes it. So if you enjoyed this video, you might like to check out my other German recipes. I have a playlist here. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.